hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to write into one to many field based on on change of a field inside the current model so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 12 where we have already installed the hospital module so here you can see we have got the hospital menu and if i go to the appointments form view so i have already added a new field into our appointments form view so if i open the appointments form view here you can see i have added a new field called product template of co model of product dot template and we have already added here a one too many line like medicine and quantity so here you can see we can add medicine that is product and how much quantity as a result of the appointment doctor can enter his prescription like which medicine has to be given to customer so we will use these one to many field so what we are going into in this video is we have to write into one to many lines that is in this doctor prescription one to many field we have to write based on the on change of this field that is product template in the parent model so let's see how we can do that so i have already done that so if i open a new form and if i choose any of the product inside the product template field so let me open a new one so if i open a new appointment and if i click on product template and if i choose any of the record from here you can see it's automatically getting updated inside the one to many line and if i change its value to the bolt also you can see it has been getting changed here so i have already done that so i will come to the code and explain what i have done so i have done like this because if, it, if i do everything from the start it will consume the time and it will be boring for you so that i have already done it and i can explain what i have done so if i go to the pie charm and let me go into the corresponding module so here you can see this is our module that is om hospital so yet if you haven't got this module you can just download it from the odu app store or you can get it from the github repository so you can just search odu development tutorials in the github and you can just download this module from there so i have already open the appointment.py file and i have added a field here so here you can see we have added a new field called product id of core model product dot template and the string is given as product template so if i go to the ui and here you can see this is the newly added field and i will just activate the debug mode so that we can access all the technical features inside the database so the debug mode is activated and if i place the mouse over here you can see the technical name of the field is product underscore id so i have added a many to one field here that is product id of core model product dot template and we have already added a one to many line called appointment underscore lines okay, here you can see this is the one to many line that i'm talking about so this is the one to many line and its name is i'll place the mouse over here you can see the name of the field is appointment lines so what we are going to do is that we'll write into the one to many based on the on change of the field product id so i have write a on change function for the field product id so here you can see this is the on change function that i have added for the newly added field so i'll just move this field near to the on change function so it will be better for you to understand so i'll just move the field here so this is the newly added field in the parent model that is product id of core model product dot template and here you can see i have defined an on change function for the product field so here you can see at ap on change and i have specified the corresponding field that is product id and i have given the name for the function so i have given the name as diff on change field name so i have given the function as on change field name is given and i have written a few lines of code so this line of code is responsible to write into the one to many line so here you can see what i have done is for rec in self so i have iterated the self over the for loop to remove the singleton error issue so the self is iterated over the for loop and first of all i have given here something so i'll just come to it later so right now i'll just adjust the code like this that is i have initialized an empty list here named lines so lines equal to empty list then in the next line i have write a for loop that is for line in what i am iterating self dot product id so in self dot product id we will get the selected product inside this field that is product template field so if you print self dot product id we will get what user selects so i'll just print self dot product id here and see what we are getting so i'll just come in this code and let's see what we are getting inside self dot product id so as so i have made changes inside the python code i have to restart the service so the service has been restarted now i'll go to the ui and let me change the field value so if i choose any of the value from this field suppose i'll choose bolt 
and if I go to the pie chart, here you can see we are getting product ID as product load template of 34. So inside the product, you know, we have got its variance. So what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to write directly this product here. So this is where here we have got two different models. So here you can see this core model is product dot template. So if I go to the pie chart and here you can see this model is product dot template and in the one to many line. So the one to many line here you can see if I scroll up the appointment lines have the one to many to model hospital appointment lines. So if I go to this model which I have defined in the bottom of this file. So here you can see this is the corresponding model and here we have got product ID field which is of model product dot product so we all know we are in odo for handling products we have got two models that is product dot template and product dot variance so if you know, don't know that i'll just come to go to it so if i go to the product template model so i'll go to settings and to the te technical and if i scroll down here we have got the models folder and if i search inside this for the product product dot template so if i search for product dot template Inside the product dot template, there is a one to many field to its product variance. So if I click on the edit button, and I think we have to go further down. So P, here you can see if I scroll down product variant IDs, I think that is the name. Product P R O D. I think I have to go back to the next screen. And if I scroll down, here you can see there is a field inside the product dot product dot template to one to many field to this one so if I, i'll copy the name so product variant ids so if i print this i will get the product id product variance of this template so i'll just print this and see what we are getting so i'll just restart the service once again so from the product template we are accessing its all its product variants so you can get it through this field that is dot product variant ids so i'll go to the ui and i'll go to the hospital and appointment form so i'll go to the hospital and then to the appointment form view and if I go to the appointments view, I will just choose review and I will create a new record. And from here, I will select product dot template. So once you click select the product template, and if you check the log, here you can see the product dot product is related product dot product is product dot product of 28. So in this variable, we will get that. So I am iterating that over a for loop. So I will just iterate it over a for loop in the line. That is for line in self dot product id dot product variant ids and inside this i'm going to create a dictionary named vials you can give any name as you like or vials one two three or something like that you can give a name or we will change it to val and inside the val dictionary i'm giving the key as product id so you know we have to write it into this model so in this model we have got a field called product id so i have copied this field name that is product id and i have given here and to the product id i have to write the id of the product so once we iterate this inside the line we will get product dot product of 28 so i have to write its id so i have given line dot id and i will give the quantity as a static value like 50 or 15 something like that i will give so i have created a dictionary by iterating over the for loop and i will append i will append this created dictionary into a list so we have already have initialized an empty dictionary here so we will append this to append this dictionary to this list so lines dot append off and you have to follow this format that is you have to give it as a tuple like 0 comma 0 comma that dictionary that you have created that is 0 comma 0 comma of while so i have appended this created dictionary as a tuple inside these lines so that's done so once you iterate over this loop you will get all the tuples inside this list that is lines dict so let's see what we are getting inside the variable lines that is definitely it will be a list and let's see what we are getting so i'll just comment the last line so i will restart the service once more okay so let's see what we are getting inside this variable called lines now i'll go to the ui and i'll just change the value of the field product template so i'll click on the create button once again and if i scroll down and if i choose any of the product from here and if i go back to the pie chart here you can see once you run this you will get a list like this and it has a value like 0 comma 0 which we have given here and the dictionary so inside the dictionary you have product id which is this field name you can see the field name is product id and another field is product quantity so product quantity 15 is given now you have created a list then you have to 
assign this list to the field where you have to write so my one to many field name is appointment lines so if i scroll above you can see my one to many field name is name is appointment lines so i will copy that and rec dot appointment lines so i'm writing into my one to many line what i'm writing the list that i am created so i'll just restart the service once again and i will go to the browser and see what happens so i'll create a new appointment and i will select a product template so it will automatically get right into the one to many line so right now you can see this one to many line is empty now i will choose a product from here and you can see it's getting entered here so what happens if i change the product it is adding so actually it has to remove the previous value and it has to add the new value so right now you can see if i am while i am on changing it is getting added without deleting the previous one so there will be the case where you need to remove the previous value right now you can see there is one two three four five values and if i change the product again it will add one more you can see right now it's added two two things that is two variants that product has got two variants that's why it's getting to seven so let's see how we can remove the value so it has been already shown in another video so that's why we have added this line that is lines of rather than initializing an empty dictionary I have initialized like this that is inside the list i have added tuple co called 5 comma 0 comma 0 so once you give like this it will remove all the existing values inside the list or inside the one to many field and it will add the new fields so let's see what happens as i have uncommented this so i'll restart the service and i'll go to the ui and i'll change the field value and see what happens so right now you have got this much values here so if i change it to conference share you can see you are only getting two things that is for the this product template that is for conference share you have got two variants that's why you are getting like this so if you change another one you are getting only one so this is how we can change or how this is how you can write into one to many lines based on on change so what you have to do is that simply you have to write an on change function for a corresponding field initialize an empty dict with the tuple as 5 comma 0 comma 0 then you have to prepare a dictionary which you have to write inside the one to many line so the key must be those field names so inside the one to many line i have called field called product id and product quantity so here you can see we have got a field called product id and product quantity i have assigned value to it and you have to append this value into a list so i have append this value into a list like this as a tuple and as i have assigned it to this so this is how you can write value into one to many field and if you have only single value right now i am expecting to get multiple values uh, that's why i have iterated of, of a for loop so if you are expecting you will get only a single value you can just directly right now i have chosen product variance that's why i have to iterate over the for loop suppose if i'm not going into the product variance right now it will be tough for me because the models are different so I think you will get the understanding so just understand this now that is how to write into one to many line in on change so just follow this code this is the on change function which writes into the one to many line so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos and if you have any queries suggestions or any feedbacks don't hesitate to connect us in social medias like facebook linkedin or twitter or you can just connect us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com so that's all about this video thank you